Hello. How are you? It's Jeannie. Welcome. And if you're new here, um, welcome to a fantastic community. Um, just the best people. As you can read through other videos and comments, you'll see this is just one of the most amazing communities. I hope you are all well. It's been a season. <laughs> I am in my dining room, which means a few things. Number one, I have no idea how this lighting is going to translate. I'll see it when I start editing. Um, number two, the cats. Leo, Sputnik, and Apollo are all around me and they are circling like sharks. Leo is looking outside and he's saying, Mom, let me out. There is a bird building a nest outside on our patio drapes up above them. So he wants to get out and watch. And um, so anyway, I am in my dining room because I needed a bigger space to do something and show you. I am going to be showing you my toiletry kits <clears throat> that I travel with, my makeup, cleaning product, uh, you know, face products, um, things like that, uh, for when we travel. I have one, two, three, four, five, at least six of them in various stages of being full or empty. And for about a year, I've been thinking I should combine all of these into one. Just one that I can grab. I don't have to worry about what's in there. My morning products are in there. My nighttime products are in there. My makeup is in there. Um, you know, my hairspray. I just throw that bottle either if it's carry on, um, if it's, you know, checked luggage, I just throw it in there. Otherwise, I just buy it wherever we are and have a travel size. So I'm going to show you that. So there will be some blah, 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 some rumbling through my um, makeup, you know, and zippers and things like that. So tactile sounds, if you like it. Um, <laughs> my cats, I have to take a picture of this. I won't move this, but I'll show you what they're doing right now. There's something I want to ask you guys. In my cooking video, where I made that Leoner Kuchen, a couple of you mentioned how special it was to not only have my mom in it, before she floated off <laughs> like a helium balloon, but documenting things with my mom. How special that is and how important that is and what a legacy that leaves for the family. And so I would like to do an interview with my mom because I think in this coming year it's going to be really important to start getting things down, tapping into the memories that she can. Um, None of us knows how long we have, you know, left on this planet. None of us. I mean, it could be tomorrow for you, me, anybody. But when you're 85, um, you know, it's chances are it's less than somebody who's younger, statistically speaking. But <clears throat> there are, you know, changes that happen as you get older. And I would like to get some things with my mom on video that will be lasting forever. Things I can show the kids, the grandkids, the great grandkids. So I, I want to be able to create something while we can that will be enduring and a great memory to look back on. And so the question I have of you is, what would you like to ask my mom, 
Donna. Um, you could call her Grandma D. <laughs> Um, our granddaughter Bella, Bella calls her uh, Gigi for great grandma. Everybody else calls her grandma, but uh, Bella calls her Gigi. So what do you want to ask her? What do you think I should ask her? What would you like to know? I'll give you a quick synopsis of my mom and a little bit about her, and so maybe this can help focus your questions. Um, my mom was born in 1938 in South San Francisco or San Francisco, I can't remember, somewhere in the Bay Area. And maybe even Hayward, I can't remember, there's something to ask. <laughs> she was born in 1938 and her father was a jockey, a very winning jockey, um, raced horses and so her life was a little bit, you know, around the circuit somewhat. And her mother was a homemaker. She actually met her husband, my grandfather. Uh, she and her sister used to go to the track and watch all the jockeys and keep all their stats and whatnot. I've got that book. So anyway, um, her mother got breast cancer and died when my mom was, I don't know, 12, 13, right in there. And so my mom went to go live with her aunt. And um, she had one brother. Her, you know, back then, a father didn't, you know, in the 30s and 40s, it was hard for a man to be uh, to take over as M Mr. Mom. It just wasn't done or done easily. And so it wasn't unusual for kids to go with, you know, a sister or someone else. And so my mom went to go live with her aunt and uncle. And um, they also had a son who was six months uh, age difference than my mom. And they were super, super close. And they be bopped, you know, all around throughout uh, junior high, high school, and then at college. I think they went different ways because my mom went to one college and he went a different way. But anyway, that was her upbringing, and uh, just always very sweet, always very um, optimistic. But questions about that time, I'm interested in Leo. And I ask her things, and she's forgotten a lot of them. So everything's fair game to ask her. Whether she remembers or not will be, you know, seen. So what I'd like to know is uh, questions you would like asked of her. Um, and I will pick and choose with her which ones she will be able to answer and comfortable answering. She met my dad when she was in college. He wasn't in college. He was older. He was a little older than her, so he was already out of college. You know, and that's kind of a fun story. Um, and they both just knew, you know, it, that, that they were for each other. Isn't that funny? So, you know, there's questions about that. There's, she's, um, she's had a very interesting life with my father. Lots of travel. Um, spontaneous things. My dad was super spontaneous. So in the comments below, let me know if there are questions you would like my mom to answer or little stories you would like her to tell you about. I would really appreciate that. And we will do a video. Maybe we will sit right here and do that. Okay? So I've got my tea. I'm not going to slurp. Mm. This is Betty's tea. And I am scraping, almost scraping the bottom. Um, it's the Earl Grey. And you know, for all the work that loose leaf tea is in making, it's so good. It's so much better than a tea bag, I think. And something else I noticed about making tea 
is I'm making it stronger and stronger. So I'm wondering, am I getting, um, you know, when you have that, uh, you need more and more of something. Uh, I can't think of the name of <laughs> what that is. My tolerance. My tolerance is um, I'm needing more and more stronger tea. So, come here, Leo. He's a handsome boy. Here's Leo. And he's got his tracker on. So it he, it is okay for him to go outside. Hey, don't be. He has, he, they only go out for a little bit in the morning. And I have this bell on him. Um because it would drive me crazy to have a bell all day. But it's only for when he's outside. And like I said, we have a lot of property out there and I wanna be able to locate them if they're in trouble or uh, I see another animal. I, I'm just erring on the side of caution. We've, as you've seen in some of the videos, we've got bears, bobcats, mountain lions, foxes, raccoons. Uh, I just want to take care that they are safe and easily be easily found um, should I need to go out and get them. So now, let's go through. I'm going to push the camera back and show you this embarrassing mess of my travel cases and uh, see if we can get organized a little bit. Okay, I think this is the best angle. And I'm going to start pulling out my travel cases. So here's one. Here's another. And I'm just going to tell you, I have not looked in these. Um, they've been traveling with me, coming and going. Okay, here's another. This one is empty, so right off the bat, I can get rid of that. And, oh, this one too. Oh, almost empty, not quite. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just empty everything out and sort it into categories. Isn't that the way um, organizing is supposed to be done? So... Let's just start with this. Okay, so now this is completely empty and I'm going to donate this or something because this doesn't really serve me well, this style, because when you fill it up, it's just a big box. And so this is going to go. And what we've got here, cotton pads. A hair um, bonnet, plastic hair bonnet to take a shower and not have my hair get wet. Q-tips. <laughs> cotton. Cotton balls. And this is from clearly when I had long hair because I've got ponytail holders. So that's going to go away. A foot file soften, you know, calluses or something. So I'll just put that, I don't know, grooming. Okay, so that's one, two done. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna 
roll this back. So it's all one color. Now, I have not looked in all of these, so God knows what we're gonna find in here. Okay, this is fairly neat. I like this style because you can hang it up by this hook in a hotel bathroom. Oh wow, this is quite neat. Okay. So we're gonna take out the Q-tips. I'm gonna put them over here. All right, we've got, this is empty. It's a cleansing gel, so that's garbage. Another cleanser, face cleanser, so I'll just start making a pile for cleansers. Wrinkle cream. <laughs> I need this in a 50 gallon vat, so I'll put that in its own. Okay, so this is a primer, hydrating primer, so kind of makeup. I've got a from um, Scentbird. This is Burberry, Burberry, my Burberry Black. I, the thing I love about Scentbird is I can easily take them, you know, without taking a full size product. So we'll put that in its own container. Eye cream. Tweezers. This looks like makeup. And I've got a L'Oreal palette. These are pretty much the colors I wear all the time and a bronzer, like a bronze blush. What is this? Oh, it's a, it turns color on your lips. It's a, like a lip balm. And then just some brushes. So blush and a few for eye. Okay, I'll put those in their own place. And a lid. Something. Okay, then I've got a little, you know, hair comb. Mm. Mm. My Dolce & Gabbana perfume. That's a great travel size. And every, I'll tell you something, every pack, every purse, every wallet has some of these. And these are my Maxalt migraine medicines. If I start to get a migraine, I want this and I need this. I'll tell you something, one time we were in Montana and a headache came on that turned into a migraine. And we had a flight home that day. I could not get out of bed to even get to the airport. We had to extend our trip two days because of my incapacitation um, due to my migraine. That's how bad they are. So I, it was just awful, awful. I mean, puking, um, you know, keep the, the room black. Um, oh, it was awful. So I'm never, ever without these. So, and then, so another trick for when I travel, and you'll see this maybe in some of the other things, is I put things that could possibly leak in Ziploc bags. 
just in case because, you know, the pressure of airplanes sometimes makes things squeeze out. So this is um, a primer. Um, cleansing towels. A toothbrush. Okay. So that's this container. Alright, let's keep going. What is this? I just grabbed this, so... This is nice. It's big. Okay, the only thing in here is a little perfume that I don't like, so that's going in the garbage. And then a toothbrush. Um, where'd my toothbrush go? There it is. And some cotton squares. That's So that's pretty empty. Okay, let's grab this one. This is very full. So, holy moly, this is full. Okay, brushes. Got a like a blush brush and eye brushes. I get these in hotels. It's the, you know, the hair bonnet to keep your hair dry for the shower. Because I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every other day. Okay, a spare razor. Oh, that's where you went. This is a blush, bronzer blush. Okay, Q-tips. Lipstick. Mascara. Another brush. Eye pencil. Um, eyebrow pencil, I think. Ah. Shaving cream for men. L'Occitane. Um, Listerine. You know those little... They come in these little... Like plastic tabs that disappear on your tongue. Breath freshener. Blush. Nail files. Okay, another nail file. More of my medicine. See? I will not be without this. This is important stuff. Um, Tylenol. Another razor, cute little, little razor. Gum picks, you know, tooth picks. All right, toothpaste, P cotton pads, <laughs> another razor, <laughs> a razor head refill, another razor head refill, more toothpicks, band aids. More toothpaste, a lipstick. Oh, this is pretty. It's kind of a pretty color. Gloss. Um, another perfume. Marc Jacobs Daisy. I don't know. I'm not sure I like that enough to keep. Anyway. Blowout spray for my hair, like a leave-in conditioner. Another perfume, Michael Kors, Wanderlust. Um, I bought this. It's a CoverGirl foundation. because I ran out, or excuse me, I forgot to pack one and I needed one last time we went 
on a trip. I think it was to Arkansas, so I just picked this up. I don't typically wear this, but um, there we have it. Antibacterial wipes. Face tissue, um, face towelettes. Vitamins. Band-Aids. Let's see. What if I had other Band-Aids? I'll put those over there. A cleansing, nice, soft, buff thing. Deodorant. Hmm, interesting. A cooling body balm. What the heck is that? I don't even know. Oh, I remember this. Look how thick that is. And it's it turns into almost like an oil. And the thing I like about this in terms of traveling, which is kind of a big and heavy, is that it's not going to leak. It's an oil for my body, like my legs and, you know, my arms and whatnot. But it's not an oil that's going to leak. So I love that. Look at this. It's called Azala Cooling Body Balm. I love this. Okay. Um, night cream with hyaluronic acid. Lipstick. Um, Dior's. I don't know what this is. It's a sample I got from Dior. I think it's like a tinted, um, a tinted moisturizer. A business card. Dental floss. Um, illuminating face oil. I like that. And a primer, another primer, a little sewing kit, and that is it for that one. Oh my gosh. And then there's another one, the last one, this monster. I've had this bag for this travel toiletry kit for maybe 20 years I've been using it. So now let's empty this this monster. Start with the top. Oh my goodness. Little face oils. Another sewing kit. Toothpaste. Tweezers. Nail clipper, earplugs, a little nail file, a face oil, a little perfume sample. What is this? Toka. Okay, oh goodness, I haven't looked in here in years. A little sewing kit. Um, I'm just gonna, oh my goodness. Okay, and then just like bobby pins and things like that that are gonna go in the trash. All right, the next section is makeup, face cream, Shiseido face cream. Um, blush, um, a hairband to pull back my hair, eyelash curler, another blush brush, a blush, a concealer. I was looking for this the other day. Um, a 
foundation, Clinique, a little mirror, another mirror, face wipes, towelette, washing towelettes, um, what do you call it, toothpaste, antibacterial gel, um, a shiseido, an enriched softener. another deodorant and another washing soft wash face washing thing um, my scent bird let's see this was homage honor I like this Da -da 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 -da. Intense mo moisture balm and another makeup remover towelette. And that is it. And I bought this in Mexico. Let me show you this. And it is a burn cream that is supposedly very good for the skin as a, like a really healing moisturizer. And it's really thick, as you can see. So um, it's called Pomada de la Campaña. So that, okay. I've cleared everything out. Look at this. Okay, let me show you this mess. Okay, so I've got this mess all over the dining room table, and now I'm going to start putting them back in one thing of each, pretty much. So, the container or the travel case that I like the best is this one that I've had forever. Um, it has seen better days, but I really like it because it's got the hook, so I can hang it up in, um, can you see it? Yeah. In bathrooms on a towel rack or whatever. It, you know, so I can hang it like that. But the thing I like about this that the others don't have is these can hold a lot, you know, they can expand or kind of contract each pocket. So, so there we have it. Now, let's put stuff back. We'll start with In no particular order, let's put in a deodorant. And I'm picking the lightest one, the one that doesn't weigh as much. Um, the other one weighs a little bit more, so I'm gonna take that. Out of the um, face cleansers, towelettes, I'm gonna take one. I'm definitely going to take this um, body balm. I love that because it's super moisturizing and it won't leak. It's heavy, but I like it. Okay, so now, so I've got a deodorant, I've got the face wash. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these cotton rounds and cotton squares and put those I'm gonna get some plastic bags. Okay, so what I grabbed were some, like the little snack pork size uh, Ziploc bags and a couple of uh, bigger ones. So I'm gonna put things that could potentially leak in there. So, um, as well as my cotton rounds, just so they stay clean. Okay, 
Okay, and I'll put some, I'll put my toothpicks and cotton swabs in there as well. I know my head is kind of cut off, but I'm trying to show you my process. I do like these cleansing buffs, so that will come. And then a night cream. The uh, primer. I like this Neutrogena um, Visibly Even. I'll put that in there. So what I'm going to replace this, because this is really heavy, is with this uh, BB cream, Pure Lease, by Pure, and this L'Oreal um, foundation. And these two are very light, so I'm going to put them in a plastic bag. them in that section. So, um, I will keep this headband just for when I want my hair out of my face. Just put that there. Um, I'm not going to keep things that I know I don't use. Um, I'm just going to, you know, put the tried and true beauty routine, makeup routine, get ready, you know, for bed routine, and that's it. So, I'm gonna get rid of some of these things. Now, my migraine medicine. Super important. Okay, now, so we've got skincare. I think there was a Okay, a foaming face cleanser, so I have that. And I don't have to put this in a um, plastic bag because it's got a really tight screw on. So I've got the foaming cleanser, I've got the wipes, and I've got the buffing stuff, so good there. Okay, I'll take a dental floss, put that up there. One razor and one refill. And and the thing I like about this is I make concoctions of face creams and things like that that I stick in here that are extra heavy. So that's what that is. All right, all these little sample things I'm not bringing. Um, oh, this is actually leave-in hair conditioner for when I wash my hair. I spray it so that the comb goes through it easily. So that I'm going to, it's a spray that I will keep. And um, that's, that's good. Okay. Okay, so that's my first section. Now, kind of makeup after foundation. Um, eyelash curler. Look at this color. I can't wear this color. Let me show you. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. What do you think? Not too bright for me? All right, I'm keeping it. So lipstick.
talk about a long rambly video. I will take one sewing kit for popped off buttons, things like that. I will take one toothpaste. Okay, let's see. I will take my concealer, spot, you know, spot concealer. I will take my, look at this, I need more. So I'm going to keep this bronzer blush and I'm going to keep the smaller pink one and one blush brush. Keep one. Okay, and then I will do um I'll keep the three I'll keep three of these pencil uh, um makeup brushes for eyes. I'll keep three of these. Um my perfume from Scentbird because I just, I like this scent and I can change it out just by putting a new one in here. Okay, so we've got face, blush, ah. I love this quad by L'Oreal um, because it's got the light, a medium, and a dark brown, and that's all I need, so that. I'll take one set of tweezers. <laughs> Don't need three. Put that in the top. UPS is here. And then, um, got the lips. Ah, oh, eyebrows. Here's an eyebrow pencil. I don't like taking my favorite one only because I'm afraid I'll lose it. Um, I need to buy another one. There are two actually that I like and I want to go buy um, um, a couple you know to have as extras but I'll take this for now and a little pencil sharpener. I'll put that up there and this in there. Okay. I'll take the little nail clippers just in case. Um, just in case I ever forget my brush or something, I like this little comb. So, I'm, and it's flat and it doesn't weigh anything. So I'll just put that in there. Um, an extra toothbrush. Yes, because you just never know. And nail files for those. But I think, yeah, I'll just bring two. earplugs because you never know if it's going to be loud or if you're near noisy neighbors. Yeah, that's happened before. Oh, Lord. And let's see. Oh, mascara. So I just put this. It's uh, pumped up. And um, some safety pins. You never know. And I'm going to take this burn cream because I really like it as a moisturizer. And I think that is it. Oh, a 
couple of band-aids. Those will go here. Any loose vitamins, I'm just going to throw away. That's just a few more Q-tips. Okay, I think the rest of this can just get sorted back into my own um, makeup, you know, in my bathroom. A lot of these are sample sizes, so I'll just use them. Or sometimes what I do when I get lots of them like this, I'll combine them all into one if they're similar products, you know, just to, you know, free up space because I don't like a lot of clutter, like all kinds of little tubes and, you know, things like that, you know, it's just too much. And the writing is so small, I can't read it. So I may just combine all those into one. And that is it. My toiletry bag is ready to grab and go. I don't have to pack it from other things in my bathroom. And that is what I was looking to accomplish. So I'm really happy. Little things like this mean a lot. I took five used ones, you know, with mis miscellaneous things in them and combined them all into one. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed a lot of the sounds. I hope they weren't too loud. I hope that the blah, blah, blah nature of this all was boring enough to put you sleep because there's really not a whole lot interesting here. So, thank you. Oh, yes, you too. Come here. Come here. He wants to he wants to say hi. Hello. Hello. You. Okay. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed. I wish you all well. I bid you so much peace and love and light, and I mean that so much. I will see you in the next video. Take care, and bye for now.